All right, guys, this one won't take too long, but Adobe, for some reason, makes this a little bit confusing. So what we're going to do is rolling credits, basically what you see at the end of a show or movie or what you see on the screen right now. So let's get started. I've got this little video clip here that I'm working on, and I've got my end credits that I want to have of who the show is featuring. So to start off, you go up to your title, new title, and you'd think default role would be the correct option here, or default crawl, but I found default still actually seems to work better. You can name the end credit whatever you want. Uh, in this case, I'll call it end credits. Hit OK. And it pulls up our title and credits seat window. From here, you want to choose your text. Uh, tool and if you have a preferred font or whatever I'm just going to go with Arial but uh, we'll start off with these are the end credits they, they will scroll from the bottom to the top Oops. And if you want to center them, you can hit the little vertical center uh, and horizontal center on the left. If you want them to be centered in regards to the window, that's up here at the top. So now I've entered my text, but as you can see, it's centered on the middle of the screen and we want it to scroll. So this is where it gets a little confusing or not confusing, but odd in how they do this because you think just setting that other option would select you here and make it easy to do. But anyway, on the upper left, in case you didn't see me do it, on the upper left there's this little roll crawl options. You select that and it pulls up your roll call options window. We're going to go with roll. Roll is causing it to roll from the bottom to the top. Crawl left and crawl right will scroll them from the left and right. If you want uh, to start them off the screen, which is generally how this works. Hit start off screen, hit end off screen. Notice it blanks out the pre-roll because um, the pre-roll is more or less the number of frames before the first word appears on the screen. So it basically appears. And since we're starting off screen, it's actually gonna roll in. So that moves those away. But the ease in and out are editable and you can set these if you want, and they ind indicate the number of frames before it actually um, gets up to speed before the first word appears, and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about here in just a second. So hit OK, and we've got that set. Hit your little X here to close the window, and I had named that end credits. So let's throw it down at the end of my show, and I'm going to move that one. That's the one I'm actually using. So if you notice here, I'm going to turn the sound off as well. We get to the end of the show, and it fades to black, and we get to our end credits. Notice that they're scrolling from the lower portion of the screen. And that's pretty much the gist of it. With that ease in, uh, that's where you notice it kind of took a little bit of a delay before it eased in onto the screen. You can play with that. Another option that sometimes you might, that people might do is you can just kind of notice what I'm doing here in the timeline windows. I'm just kind of sliding it over the video a little bit. And what that's going to do is as the film's fading to black, it's technically kind of easing in now, but notice it's scrolling up and you have to excuse my uh, Computer's a little choppy. You can't see the lower window, but I've actually got a dozen different programs running at the moment, which I should have done. Um, but anyway, that's it. That's the basics of how to do a um, end credits.